One, two, one, two. Is this on? What are you doing, Angelo? Like, what are you doing? We're here for WWE Survivor Series predictions video and you're doing some sort of shenanigans with your fingers? I don't think so. So let me talk to you. I'm here to tell you my predictions for Survivor Series War Games 2023, putting out there every freaking buzzword there is. So let's just yeah, jump into it. The first match of the night probably is gonna be Santos Escobar versus Carlito. They're both fighting for Rey Mysterio. Carlito is fighting to defend Rey Mysterio's legacy and Santos Escobar is fighting to prove that he's just like Dominic, a piece of shtick. So, who is gonna win? This is Carlito's first match back from a long time. Honestly, you can say the same thing about Santos Escobar because he just turned heel, but I don't know, maybe Carlito is gonna have the W here, I don't know. You know what? Freak it. I'm saying my official prediction, I just said it like one minute ago that my prediction is something else, but, but scratch that. My official prediction is that Santos Escobar is gonna win and that's gonna kickstart his heel run tremendously and something magical will happen after that as well i don't know but probably he's gonna start a new group that's not with joaquin wild and cruz del toro or something else and he's gonna start his own thing i don't know but official prediction santos escobar wins this after that we had the match for the intercontinental championship the miss versus the ring general gunther and I think that Gunther is gonna retain. He's having a long ass streak. Miss is gonna be a great person who can dethrone Gunther. But can he really dethrone Gunther? I don't think so. Miss is like two times smaller than Gunther. And it's amazing that he had held the title for eight times. But you know, the Gunther is continuing his streak. And I'm saying that for probably a thousand times. I think Chad Gable is gonna be the person who's gonna dethrone Gunther. Chad Gable versus Gunther for make it happen. Cook it. Match for the world heavyweight. What? Why we're why we're not saying women world heavyweight champion? Because women are not heavyweight. Ha! <laughs> anyway, match for the women's world championship, Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm really excited for that match. I'm watching Zoe Stark since the NXT days and she has all the potential in the world. She's not gonna dethrone Rhea Ripley, in fact Rhea Ripley is retaining tonight. It's not tonight, it's uh, after a few days, but still Rhea Ripley is gonna retain. But it's gonna be a banger of a match and Rhea Ripley is gonna put Zoe Stark in the best spotlight possible i'm telling you guys i'm telling you mark my words mark that prediction as well the first war games match charlotte flair bianca belair these two rhymed a little bit shotzi and becky lynch versus damage control without a dakota kai basically use kai bailey Kyrie sane and oscar my prediction is not completely out there yet but let me talk to you you know Damage Control is a really strong force, but in the last few episodes you're seeing that everything is gonna crumble. And I'm not sure if everything is gonna crumble maybe at War Games, you know? Maybe, maybe at War Games. But on the other side, we're having Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. And in theory, they have squashed the beef, but did they really squash the beef? Did they really squash the beef? So there are two potential implosions within the two teams so i'm not sure who is gonna win but my wild guess my prediction my 1000 iq prediction is that damage control is gonna win and maybe they're gonna implode afterwards i don't know this is my wild guess let's see what's gonna happen actually last but not least everyone the most important War Games match of all time. Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, Randy Orton versus The Judgment Day, aka Damian Priest, Finn Balor, uh, Dominic Mysterio, Aiden JD McDonough. 
and Drew McIntyre, which is who is not part of the Judgment Day, but he is gonna be in their team for Survivor Series because uh, Drew McIntyre hates Jey Uso, and that means that he is okay to fight everyone from that team. But anyway, there are again two possible implosions in both of these teams. Uh, on the uh, one side, you have Cody and Seth. You have Randy and Jay. On the Judgment Day side, you have Drew and Damien, who are both the leaders of the team. Drew is not officially the leader of the team. He doesn't care about the team that much. He cares only to inflict pain on Jay Uso. His words, not mine. Don't, don't watch me like this. But I feel like Seth Cody, Sammy, whatever that team is, they're gonna win because Randy Orton is coming back and he cannot lose, my boy. He cannot lose. I want to see Randy Orton. I want to see Randy Orton on 100%. I want to see RKO if he's good, if his back is good and everything. But he had two years. He had two years. Hopefully everything is fine, my man. And I'm saying that they're gonna win because at the end of the day, Judgment Day are trying to establish dominance. And if they don't win that match, that means that they're not the dominant force on Monday nights. And usually the champion should be the dominant force. So I don't know. Uh, my prediction is it, just a prediction, man. It's just a prediction. Don't look me like this. Is that the set team is going to win. But we're going to see. I'm really excited for Survivor Series. I hope nothing changes after SmackDown. There is a possibility for a match between Solo Sico and LA Knight. But whatever it is, if that match is happening at Survivor Series, I predict that LA Knight is winning. Thank you very much. With that being said, I'm really excited, as I said, for Survivor Series. There are rumors left and right that people are going to return. People are not going to return. People are going to die. No one is going to die, don't worry. But the most importantly is that it's gonna be fun i think so and i can't wait so thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time peace